Hello everybody, my name is Eric and today we're going to be taking a look at some troublesome samples. Both of these are undetected. This one is one I simply found on the internet. It is an info stealer that raises zero detections on virus total. And this one is, of course, the stealer of my own creation. It's written in Rust and is completely undetected. So we're going to test these out against Windows Defender, and then I'm going to show you some better approaches to dealing with these. I'm going to show you how you can detect the behavior of an application using a sandbox. But first of all, let's see what happens. So imagine you've just gotten an email. And you may think this is a ridiculous joke, but it's actually not. I got one fairly recently telling me about how I could purchase an oil rig at a discounted price, but I had to download the invoice, which was an EXE. Now, the best sign of a legit program, besides the fact that it says it doesn't have a virus... Oh, okay, it did do something. It was just a bit slow. Now the payload has finished, and in case you didn't notice... Well, let's just check. So, according to Windows Defender, we're all good. That little CMD window that just asked us for administrator rights, uh, it had no virus. But, does that mean we're actually safe and that nothing in here was a virus? Well, I wouldn't count on that. So now, uh, we know that antivirus is not going to catch these. So, let's go over to today's sponsor, AnyRun. AnyRun is an award-winning malware sandbox that not only can tell you if a file is a virus or not, but it can also tell you exactly what a suspicious file might do. Now. Viruses can come from many places. They can come from suspicious downloads. They can turn out uh, to be a fort they can be from a Fortnite skin swapper, or they can come from emails. So now that we know that Windows Defender and antivirus is leading to unsatisfying results, let's take a look at uploading to the sandbox. So here we have all of our options. Now of course, first of all, we got the operating system. We can have anything from Windows 7 for classic malware to Windows 11 for the latest and greatest, along with Ubuntu for the occasional Linux payload. We also have the ability to use a machine learning automated interactivity to deal with malware that checks if you're a real person. Going over to the network section, we have the ability to use MITM proxy, which is what I would recommend if you're unaware. We have FakeNet, which essentially, it gives you more customization. It can allow you to detect network worms and local network payloads, and it can also allow you to, it can also allow you to spoof network responses. So if your malware is reliant on websites that don't exist, or the non-existence of certain websites, like for example WannaCry, this can be a really powerful option. You can also simply turn off the network if that's what you'd like. You can use a residential proxy if you would like to avoid having a data center IP address, and you can also use Tor. Final option here, user VPN. Uh, of course, we'd have to set up an open VPN profile, and that would allow you to actually tunnel the sandbox into your home or business network so that you could run your own analysis tools or see how it interacts with your own environment. We also have the option to run the sandbox for longer or shorter. This is especially going to be useful for something like ransomware and you can choose what directory you want the file to load in. Also, if the payload is a link, you can choose which browser you want to open it in. You can also choose who's, uh, to upload your own tools to be available in the sandbox, and you can choose what applications you want. Now, let's run. Okay, and immediately we're noticing some red flags. This is probably an anti-analysis technique. Yeah, we just hit a warning flag. And now, after running this, we get a verdict of malicious activity. So, zero detections in Windows Defender turned out to be not quite right. Now, the value in this kind of a solution, as opposed to relying on Windows and there we go. Now, of course, the AI summary is going to be poisoned a bit by the fact I named this Undetect Info Stealer, and then it calls out the concerning PowerShell behavior. Now we have a list of threats here, potentially bad traffic, and then some more. Now we can see a variety of things this thing did, most notably using a chain of PowerShell commands for anti-analysis. Uh, the, the other red flag is this was actually, despite not having any detections, presently shipped in a zip file with a 12334 password, which is never a good indication for legitimacy.
Now just to show another one, uh, we're just going to run this again with our usual features. And I'm going to show you that because this VM will come with uh, a file extraction software, uh, if we don't want to mess around with unpacking our archive, uh, we can just do that in the VM so that, especially if you're using a Windows system for the host, or like your personal computer, you're never going to have to risk actually running the threat. And we just have to remember the password, which is 1414. Let me just drag this onto the desktop and go ahead. Now let's run this legit program. And immediately we see a bunch of things spawning. The threats tab is blinking at us. Luma has been detected. This one didn't waste any time. It got straight to work. And we've already got multiple C2 domains, which any run has actually detected are malicious. We can also see what it does with files, and these are mostly the WinRAL, but we can see it also created a dump. It doesn't seem like this one did anything, but for example, with ransomware, that's extremely powerful to see, is it creating copies of your file? And immediately it tells us everything that this program does, and because of Yera rules, it's even able to tell us which stealer it is. So I think that is all for this showcase. I really hope you enjoyed it. If this product looks like something you're interested in, head on over to app.any.run and sign up with your business email today. You can get started for free. Just go here, sign up, put in your name, your business email, and your password. Now, if you want to see the pricing for the premium plans, here you go. So for free, you get all of this. Try all of this out. Beautiful. For Hunter, which is the higher-end plan, that's what I'm using. Of course, in this sponsored video that is provided for free, it gets you all of this. Uh, it gets you the ability to use MITM proxy, which is really powerful. It gives you a higher input size, gives you a longer period of time, and you can, uh, you can get the PCAPs, you get more rule sets, and of course you get the right to commercial usage, along with residential proxies. That just means one of the most common things that malware will do is it'll actually open a fake, or it'll call IP info to check if you have a data center IP and block you. Well, that gets around that. So that's all for me for now. Thank you again to Anyrun for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Bye.